have you ever wonder what happens when you trade options what impact time volatility has on your option position i am vishwesh and in today's video i'm going to talk about what happens when you trade options fundamentally you can only do two things with an option either you can buy or you can sell now there are only two kind of option which is call and put and there can be several expiries okay and uh, when you mix match multiple expiries multiple options multiple long short it gets complicated but hang on guys uh, we are not going into that much complication we are starting with the basics because what i have realized most of the time when people reaches me out i have understood that they are good with their concept about the life but when it comes to the basics they are still struggling so first of all you should understand that what happens when you trade options okay first thing second thing is that you should also understand that basics of option involves a payoff diagram at least from an expiry point of view so uh, let me start uh, this video by explaining you that what is a payoff diagram and when you initiate a single option position what kind of a payoff diagram comes from an expiry point of view and what happens uh, when you're creating a multiple uh, position one more thing you should also understand is that payoff diagram is mostly conceived from an expiry perspective but how do you you know understand next day payoff diagram if you are not well versed with the payoff diagram how are you going to look at the uh, numbers and hard numbers and you can decipher that this is my position this is how pnl would look like so uh, in the uh, next part i'm going to talk about actually a payoff diagram from a practical perspective okay so before we move any further uh, for those who are here for the first time or probably seeing this video for the first time i would request you to first go and see the very long 45 minute live session i have done about the basics of option like what is call put what expiries are there what is underlying what is strike price what is in the money what is out of the money what is at the money i would highly recommend if you are starting new in the market you plus have a look at that the link is in the description if it would be popping somewhere here so please have a look at that video Okay, so first of all, you get it this trade. You can buy option, you can sell option. There is a call and there is a put. There is a different expiries, which is weeklies and monthly. And in India, we have only one kind of option, which is European option. And okay, and there is a stock option and index option. Yeah, we gonna be uh, talking mostly from an index option perspective because that is the most liquid. And just to give you a little perspective, that our index option from a volume perspective is the most liquid in the entire world you know that is the statistics i have read somewhere so now uh, let me just first explain what happens uh, uh, when you actually buy a position so let us look at how actually payoff diagram looks now here i have created a hypothetical image and this is nothing but a class 4 of your you know basic mathematics this is nothing but a kind of a timeline or uh, you would say that this side is positive this side is negative this is x axis this is basically y axis on a x axis you plot underlying so if underlying increases it goes this side if underlying decreases it goes this side if your profit is there this side if loss is there this side now what happens what happens when you buy an option when you buy an option you are paying money from your pocket so that is called a debit and that is why it will be plotted how much you have so let's say you have paid a 50 rupees of debit for something so this is basically minus 50 you'll be plotting now this line will come the first bend in the line this particular intersection this intersection is nothing but on this horizontal line it is called a strike price so this is a strike price so now you know that the bent on the payoff diagram is actually a strike price now bent which is your strike price plus the amount of debit which you have paid that would give you a break even so intersection of the horizontal line and uh, the uh, this payoff line is your break even so this is your break even 
This is your strike price. This is the debit you have paid. This is the profitable side. This is the loss side. Now, whenever you will see any payoff, you know, whenever you see any payoff, you have to understand that this is the kind of a diagram it's going to be there. This particular payoff, when I'm referring, it is for the call. As you see that it is a debit. So I have bought a call, means I have paid. As you see, as underlying rising, the line is going higher. So if you notice again from the payoff perspective, underlying increases and this line is going up and this is the green which I'm indicating. Now, this has a variation. There can be two, three, four variation depending on uh, what you're buying. Either you're buying call or you're buying put. You are selling call or you're selling put. And when you'll merge, what happens to the payoff? Now, that is a slightly complicated and you should also understand that this particular payoff diagram is from an expiry point of view. Okay, so now you know that how actually payoff diagram is constructed. It is not a very rocket science, but you should understand positive, negative side, debit, credit. Then uh, where is the intersection, which is your break even, uh, which is your strike price and how the intersections are coming. Then you should probably focus on the other payoff diagram. So basically you should understand that when you buy a call, you are having a stance that if underlying going up, you will make money. So you're having a bullish stance, right? When you buy a put, you're having a bearish stance. So if underlying decreases, you will make money. So here I have plotted all the four uh, position which you can do within option. This is a long call payoff. So if you see as underlying increasing, the profit is increasing. This is a long put as underlying decreasing, your profit is uh, increasing. Now this is a long option category stance. So basically, when you're buying option, it is also called as a long option. So either you're buying call or buying a put, it is called a long option. And when you're buying a call, you want underlying to increase. When you're buying a put, you want underlying to decrease. Now, opposite to that, what I said is that there is a call and put and you can buy and sell both. When you are selling a call, when you're selling a call, you are receiving a premium. And that is the reason this line is plotted in the positive category. This is why it is called a limited risk a limited reward strategy because when you're selling an option you maximum profit is to the tune of amount of credit which you have received now if you see that if you have sold the call your as the underlying decreasing your profit is kept but if it rises above certain level your losses is unlimited so when you saw sell an option your loss is kind of an unlimited theoretically and when you buy an option your losses are limited but when you buy an option your amount debit is nothing but a which premium you have paid and when you are uh, selling option the credit which you receive your maximum profit so this is basically long call this is long put this is long call this is long put this is basically short put and this is short call so i hope this four diagram now will make more sense to you since you understood the actually how diagram is constructed now it is really very really difficult to remember this kind of a payoff diagram and there is a you know a very nice bookish way of remembering this payoff diagram and what I call it is basically a diamond. You have to draw a diamond and you will be able to remember this. You want to see? Let's look at that. So uh, these are the four payoff uh, which we have seen. Now if you don't remember this, it's not a very uh, complicated thing. Just draw a diamond which is nothing but a this four line and then extend two lines like this. Now, this is your all four payoff diagram. So this particular case over here, this is your long call. Can you see that? Yeah. This particular, this particular side over here is your long put. So upper side is long option and lower side, this one is your short call. And this one is your short put. So let me try once again. My drawing is not that great. I hope you can uh, understand by that. So I'm just drawing one more diamond. Okay. And I'm going to extend the lines. Right. So this is long put. Up, upper side is a uh, long option. This is long call. This is short call. And this is short put. I hope this simplifies the thing and when you're looking at diamond probably it is very very simple left side is call right side is put 
upper side is long lower side is the short next time if you really don't understand that which payoff diagram and how the position would look like just imagine a diamond or probably draw on a piece of paper and you can probably figure it out that what how the payoff is going to look like but just remember this is from an expiry point of view there's a one more angle which is called immediate payoff which is next day payoff and i'll show you that in a while now probably I'm going to share the most important metrics uh, from an option perspective. Whether you are newbie or whether you are an advanced trader or whether you are somebody who is, uh, you know, uh, giving a chance to, you know, understanding the option. This particular slide is going to clear all your doubt and probably you will have a uh, most clear stance about how a trading position look like. So uh, this is a in my opinion, not copied from anywhere. This is my construct. I have just created a 30 minutes back to explain you how does it look like. So this is buy option. This is sell option. This is call and this is put. And I'm going to explain a one and rest of the things is going to be very, very simple. So when you buy an option, you basically have a debit. When you buy an option, your risk is limited. When you buy an option, your reward is unlimited. When you buy a call option, your view on underlying is bullish. When you buy an option, your direction is positive. So if direction is nothing but a delta, D for delta, D for direction. When you buy an option, if volatility rises, it is good for you. So basically, option buyer has a positive vega. Just remember this for now. When you buy an option, your theta is negative, time hurts. Now, if you remember this thing, it is the most easiest and probably this slide, in my opinion, essence of an option and probably no matter how many options book you read, this is going to be the same thing fundamental. So once again, time hurts if you're option buyer, volatility helps if you're an option buyer, direction is positive if you're call buyer. View on underlying is bullish if you're a call buyer. Your reward is unlimited for the call buyer. Your risk is limited for the call buyer and cash flow is basically debited. Now, simplify this thing and you would probably understand that why this is such a beautiful website uh, slide and probably it clears all your doubt. Now, one more, I want to take a one minute to explain you that why sellers has an edge. When basically options are being sold, they receive the credit. Their risk is undefined. Undefined this is nothing but a unlimited. But what happens is that they have a very huge advantage of a time. The theta is in the plus. So when you're selling an option, your theta is basically positive. Your vega is also negative. I'll in a subsequent videos in a series, I will explain you that when you should sell and when you should buy an option. But for now, you remember that D for delta, D for direction, T for theta, T for time, V for volatility, V for vega. And this slide explains you what happens when you buy option, sell option, buy call, sell call, buy put, sell put. I think this single slide is going to solve all your problem. Just pause it, take a screenshot, probably pin it on your desk. And this is probably the best way for you to start your, you know, venture out in the options. Now over here, when you understand the metrics and when you understand from a basic Greeks point of view, I have not yet explained you the Greeks. I have just started giving you an essence of a, how a position building is going to change your stance. Once again, have a look at this. Now, this time I want you to have a focus only on the direction. If you buy an option, your delta is positive, your direction is positive. If you sell an option, which is a call option, your de delta is negative. So now, when would you sell a call option? You would sell a call option when you see a limited upside. When would you sell a put option? When you see a limited downside. By selling a call, even though you are trading a call option, you are having a negative stance, your delta is negative. When you are trading a put option and if you are selling a put option, even though you are uh, trading a put option, your delta becomes a positive. So selling option becomes the opposite of the, uh, what the, that particular instrument. So in the case of call, it becomes a negative. In the case of put, it becomes positive. This is one of the very important factor and when you will mix match call put and you will try to manage your delta vega theta, you would probably create a superb, superb structure and probably what you want to achieve and you can achieve. And I'm going to teach you that in a coming series. But for now, you just focus on that how a changing a stance or selling a buying option has a huge impact on your weeks. Okay, so, so far, whatever I have discussed, uh, basically, you might think that is from a bookish point of view or a theoretical. But let me tell you that it is as applicable and it is as uh, practical as it gets. And I'm just going to give you an example. So let us uh, have a look at it right now. Um, 
I have a you know uh, nifty position and let us see that we are having a some sort of a bullish stance or maybe as I'm speaking right now is six nifty is showing a 300 point down take so probably if I would say a bullish stance people would come after my life and saying that you were saying a bullish no guys I'm just talking about a kind of a you know simulation perspective so let's say if you buy a 16,500 call option of a 26th August expiry so first you select nifty then you select option then you select expiry and then you add a strike so in this particular case i want to buy a 16500 call option buy how many lots one lot this is the ltp and you say add position when you add a position this is what it gonna come up plus one 26 august 16500 your maximum loss is the amount of money which you have paid which is basically nothing but a 75 which is lot size multiply by 144.5 the price of a ltp that is the case your break even is 16645 how this price is coming you're buying a 16500 option and on an expiry date that option to have a break even underlying should have a 16650 645 because you are paying about a 145 rupees for the option so 145 plus 16500 is going to give you a kind of a break even and if you look at margin which is the amount of debit now this is the most important part which is the option and this is the payoff have a look at this payoff this is your expiry payoff now this is an expiry payoff what i want to understand is that kal kya hoga what is going to happen tomorrow so here if you make a uh, next one day now in this case this is going to be the next one day. So if tomorrow market comes to 16,400, the blue line is showing you, you will incur a loss of 3,000 rupees. And if it goes to 16,649, you will incur a profit of about 2,900 rupees. So this is called a next day payoff. A next day payoff is a huge role to play when it comes to this strategic position because you're having a theta vega and a kind of a complicated thing. But in this particular case, next day payoff is also uh, important for you to understand because your theta is decaying. Now, there is a, some more important Greeks which you would like to understand is that what is your theta, what is your vega, what is your gamma and what is your delta. So your delta is about 30. So that means every one point change in underlying will give you 30 rupees. Your theta is 365 rupees. So that means if one day nothing happens, your value of an option will reduce by 365 rupees. And last is your vega, which is 435. Every one point change in the volatility will give you a 435 rupees. So guys, this is the practical approach and I'm just removing this position. Let me just reset this position. Okay, and let's do bank nifty now. Bank nifty option and uh what was it, 35600 so let's buy a 35 so if somebody was bearish on the friday and would have bought a 35000 put option this is what his payoff would look like and we wanted to see some payoff on the monday so like two after two days and after two days if underlying comes to 35000 which is round about here the blue line would give is the profit you would make a 5800 rupees profit why you would make a profit let us go and have a look at your delta is 24 minus so that means eight point agar gira aapko 24 rupees aayega if 1000 point it falls you will make a 24000 rupees your vega is 1519 rupees that means if volatility of an option increases by one point you will make this much so guys in today's video i have tried giving you a glimpse of what the basics of options are how the options payoff are constructed different kind of an options payoff options and the factors have an implication when you're creating an option position when you create an option position what sort of an impact does it have of volatility time and direction and how when you're creating a position how to see next day payoff how to understand what greeks has an implication on that please guys if you really like the video please subscribe consider subscribing at least share it with your friends who are eager to learn the options that will help motivate me to create more content like this thank you so much and uh, please leave a comment what would you like to learn next